I know we said we finished with the episode, but I have one more thing to say. Bob Whiteman, you ultra crepidarian, pussy lameness, timorous. Stop running from me. Come talk to me. I just want to talk. Weasel, you pathetic weasel. You fraud. You're finished. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
of victims and the ages as well. I was like, bro. Bro? Mm. They were like, oh, they were like, they're not just names. I mean, they're not just numbers. I was like, bro. Yeah. And then we saw the, the real Labour leader there as well. The real, My guy Jezza. The, the, the hero that we need right now, man. Yeah, the hero that we don't the deserve. been needing, I like. Yeah. No, we don't deserve it, man. This this country deserves everything. It's getting well, actually, maybe not everything because COVID is like a out of left field, isn't it? But um, yeah, just seeing like yeah, just seeing people there was quite emotional. I think uh, it's like kind of humbling as a reminder uh, because yeah, I, I saw a lot of people saying like, "Oh, people are treating it as a motive." Yeah, but honestly, I didn't see anyone like that. Do you know what I mean like yeah? Fair enough, they might be shouting, screaming, yeah. But they're making their voices heard at the end of the day, in it. And I think a lot of people who like sit at home and criticize others for going to protest here. Yeah. What leg do you have to stand on? Because you're not even standing on your own two legs and walking yeah. out of your house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be saying, "Oh, you you went for a motive. You went for this. You went for that." They were de- like, because basically there was this girl. Yeah, she must have posted two TikToks in it uh, on 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 TikTok, obviously. So one of them. <clears throat> <laughs> one of them was like a like a normal protest video basically like the video is a part of like everyone chanting and then how many people were there and all that stuff right um and that one got like um last time I checked it was like almost 300,000 views yeah uh, and then there was a lot of people in the in the comment section asking like oh what, what's going on and then people were being like educated and people being pushed to the right resources to see like how they can donate petition um how they can educate themselves all that stuff so it's really good right and then there's another video where she's like next to the police officer and she's like she's like dancing but pissing off the police officer basically in it. So like a basically like a trendy jokey video in it. And then there was a, not everyone, but there's like a couple of people getting onto her saying like, oh, you went to the protest like for fun. And I and I'm thinking, she went to the protest for hours and hours and hours, screaming her head off, shouting her head off, making her voice heard, yeah. And people yeah. really think a, a 10 second video invalidates that. But I'll be honest, bro. There was nothing fun about a protest. Yeah. And and if, and if anything, yeah, bro, do you know what the maddest thing is? Because people were like, oh, you, you should take that video down or you shouldn't have made that video in the first place, yeah? You know the video that I said before she took the video of the protest in it, like the mm-hmm. serious one? That got 300,000 views. Uh, and, and, and loads of people commented and got educated in the comments in it. Guess how many views the dancing one got? Like a mil or something? Five million. Five million. Wow. So, so, so people are cussing her. But really, if you look at those comments with the ones with five millions, there's a, literally a million people asking, yo, what's happening in Palestine and being educated, all because she danced. Do you know what I mean? If, sure, fair enough, you, you, might, you might feel salty about it, yeah? But she's still raising awareness. Bro, she done, she done, she done more than a couple of men put together, fam, so. Yeah. So I feel, I feel like all this, like, you know, people are trying to create this hierarchy of activism. Like, at the end of the day, the Palestinian people need you to talk about what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? In any shape or form. Obviously not. Mm-hmm. In one one shape or form is not right, but we'll go on to that in a second. Um, but yeah, all this ad- idea that there's performative activism, uh, I don't think, as we, I think as we said in the last episode, it doesn't really count for Palestine because people, you need to be, people need to be talking about it. I'm not, I'm not, having, a, I'm not having a great day, I'm not going to lie. Why, man? Remember, remember, Back in October, um, when Marcus Rashford was fighting the conservative MPs um, to try and get the, the kids fed for the holidays, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then a bunch, like all the conservatives voted n- no to feeding the kids, right? And I don't know if you remember, but I tweeted my, my local MP, um, Bob Blackman, the white man, um, I just have to clarify in it because he's got a surname that's misleading. It's not he's not black. I think he's changed his name to Bob Whiteman, isn't it? Mm. Um, but yeah, so last time I tweeted in October, I tweeted him saying, like, oh, why did you why did you vote against feeding the kids? And then I, I sent him like pictures of like one of an article of him, you no, know, three pictures of him like claiming hella heavy expenses in from our tax money, you know. Like some of them went up to like a hundred thousand pounds in a year. Uh, and then I, there's then there's an article of him, uh, what's called cl- over claiming expenses on Ubers. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Uh... Yeah, um, and what, do you, do you, by any chance do you remember what his response was? No. He blocked I'm me. Not, 
what? He blocked. He blocked me on Twitter. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I know. I thought you yeah. actually responded or something. No, no, that was that was back in October. He he blocked me in it. Um, so you know, the, you know the sign that I took in what's it called on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where it says like, if you oh, don't know, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the sign, go look at the thumbnail on the previous video, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then what's it called? Um, yeah. So it was, it was, it was, it was making rounds on Twitter, and I was like, you know what? He blocks me on my main account. Um, but he is one of the MPs that I want to talk about. I will, I'm talking about in this in the thing. It, the, the sign said, uh, "Dear MPs, you can't send thoughts and prayers to both sides if you're arming one of those sides." Do you know what I mean? Because how does that make sense? Like you and you, let's say you and Adzo and Beef here, yeah? and I'm like, I pray for the safety of both of you, and then I give you a knife. Yeah. You know how you know how mad that is, fam. Do you know I mean? Not because yeah. that doesn't count. Do you know what I mean? So. Mm. I tweeted him that saying like, oh, I tweeted him from the Titan Talk account saying like, oh, seeing as you blocked me from my main account, um, retweet this instead of all the IDF propaganda. Because bro, I went on his Twitter here from the Titan Talk account. He has been retweeting the IDF for the last five or six days. That's the Israeli occupation force, basically. Um, just like propaganda, propaganda about them like bombing hospitals and stuff like that. Yeah, so what was their excuse for bombing a mic? I mean... <laughs> For a bombing hospital, it was, it was just some like you know the usual in it. Like we found the Hamas base underneath. We called them. We told them to evacuate in an hour, and then we bombed it. Um, the usual in it, and uh, then what's it called? So I'm going through his tweets here. He like he him personally hadn't made any tweets about the situation. Um, just a lot of prop- retweeting a lot of propaganda in it. And then I go back a couple more days and he's like retweeted this person. You know that picture of Hamza Chaudhry and Wesley Fofana in the mm. FA Cup final? By the way, can I just say, yeah, as a Chelsea fan, yeah, wallahi, I was, I'm not sad at all that we lost the FA Cup. Just so I could see that. Yeah. Just so I, I could see he Hamza went, Chaudhry. Went, like, he, they, like when they were celebrating, it was like this, he was on like some strip or something and then he took a picture with like a family like on the road. Oh, that's, yeah, that's his, that's his, uh, that's his yard in Leicester, man. Oh, sick. He's yeah, sick. shout out, shout out, shout out. I don't know if you got, obviously, you won't know what this means, but shout out, Nizar Manish, innit? It means like that's our people in it because he's Bengali, innit? But yeah. Wait, what? He's Bengali? Yeah, come on, bro. He's half Bengali, half. I don't want to get this wrong, innit? I don't know if it's uh, Guyanese or. Jeez, you put the bottom of the them man there, fam. Come on, my guy. Where's he? Let me, let me Google where he's from because I honestly, I, I don't want to like erase half of his heritage, innit? That's, that's mad. Uh, but he's half Bengali, half something else. Let me see. It's like a Caribbean country, I think. Uh, Hamza Chowdhury. He is half. Oh, Grenada. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's Grenada, Grenada basically. But I don't know how to say Gren- Grenadian, that's it. But yeah. But You're supposed yeah. to be one of the smarter ones out of us, man. <laughs> um. Yeah, so he obviously he saw he saw a uh, he saw a Palestinian flag in the, in the crowd. And he, he he told one of the stewards in it, like, bro, can you go get that flag for me in it? Um, and then the guy got it from the family. He gave it to Hamza Chaudhry and him and Wesley Fofana. It was funny because on the, he watched the BBC footage. Yeah, they're holding up the flag, and the cameraman turns to them and quickly turns back around. No mad, way. Mad, mad. They they tried their hardest to like not show it in it. No. Um, and then Bob Blackman, my local MP, he retweeted a tweet saying like, "This is disgraceful. Football used to be a place where you can escape from, uh, from disgusting politics and stuff like." That. I'm thinking, bro, you're a politician. This is what you do for a living. Uh, and the thing is, it's all all this like, I uh, pray for both sides, yeah. But you can see a clear bias on his Twitter page. Jeremy, you know I mean? there is a clear, clear bias. No one can tell me that he's being neutral at all. If he's if he's retweeting the IDF every every five seconds. Uh, also, what's this? What's this tomato soup thing that everyone keeps talking about? Bro? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know yet. Yeah. Uh, can we come back to it afterwards? I I need to finish. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Because I was here like I'll tell I'll tell you about the topic of I was like, brother, I was keeping saying I'll keep hearing tomato soup, tomato soup. This girl to- sold out. To- this, tomato this salad, girl- tomato salad. I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. Don't worry. If, if you if you want to hear about that, stick around, stick around, yeah. stick around anyway, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, so Bob Blackman he's retweeting all, the, all his IDF propaganda in it, and I must tweet. And also, like the own again, just like how the media, you know how the media when it comes to like Israel, Israel and Palestine, yeah. When did 
the BBC and Sky News start like properly, properly covering it once rockets were fired. Yeah. But before rockets were fired, we were talking about Sheikh Jarrah in our last episode. We were talking about how people are being forced out of their homes. Why Why was none of that getting the, the same amount of coverage? Why was none of the lead up getting the coverage? And then so, as soon as Hamas f- fires a rocket, it's like, oh, damn. Like, now we need to start reporting on this because th- now the mainstream, the, the masses need to see what is happening now. They need to see the violent stuff. They're not seeing what's happening before to the Palestinian people. I mean, and he's 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 the same as well, uh, Bob Blackman. He, he's not made any tweets about the whole thing yet. But yesterday, and we need to make it very, very clear, by the way, we do, we do not condone this. Um, there were some idiots on Finchley Road that were driving around with a Palestinian flag hanging outside the thing, and they, was, they were saying some disgusting things in it. They were saying anti-Semitic things about Jewish people. Like They were saying, like, those, those people are stupid. Do you know what I mean? And they do not represent the Free Palestine movement at all. And what else annoys me? Okay, that's one we condemn it them. Day, it was literally the day after the, the protest, Alai. Right? Yeah. So obviously, mm-hmm. obviously, we we condemn them completely, Alai. Right? Everyone, everyone knows that. Why are people who have who have said that the, this conflict is too compl- this conflict is too complex for them? Yeah. Yeah. So they what they want to speak about? Why is that the first thing that they speak about? So why, like, why, why as well? Why is these people these it's like six idiots being anti-Semitic yeah, or four idiots being anti-Semitic? The first thing some people talk about. Why is it the first thing they comment on when there's a massive, massive protest? Literally a day before, 150,000 people there, and you have nothing to comment and say anything about that. A peaceful protest, but you want to. Co- first of all, I'm, I'm not saying that they shouldn't comment in it because it is despicable. And again, we condemn that completely. There's no room for anti-Semitism in this movement. But why is it the first thing you talk about? Yeah, well, do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But, com- I, but is this, this shit's been going on for time, man. And, uh, and I, we, I mean, we say that, but I feel like sometimes people ignore why these things happen. Like, we need to, the media and politi- the media and politicians need to take a big look at themselves here yeah, and think, I want to ask you a question here. Yeah. Why, why do you think um, anti Semitism is thrown in there with anti Zionism sometimes? As in, um, by the people or? By, by the people, by the people. Let's stick with the people for now. So why do you think? Cause, so, cause why do you think some idiots? Some people view it as it's synonymous, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And the reason why they they view it as synonymous, yeah, is because for years and years and years and years and years, people have the media, politicians, and Israel have politicized Jewish people, and I feel so sorry for them because they've they, they've said to they've said to everybody basically that Judaism is synonymous with Zionism, which is not true. Mm. You know what I mean? And the more you say that, the more you tell people, oh, it's, it's anti-Semitic to want a, a free Palestine, the more that the less ignorant, the less educated and the more ignorant are going to go along with that thought, that train of thought. Do you know what I mean? The, it's, it's exactly the same, because this is what makes me sad here, yeah, is because I see it and it's exactly the same as what happened to us as Muslims. Because, you know, they, for, for decades, um, the media has been making, has been telling you that Islam is synonymous with terrorism, Malay. and that has given birth to right-wing hate groups such as the EDR, who mm. have been brain, brain, like Tommy Robinson. All these people have been brainwashed to think that like Islam is is the issue, be- just because the media wanted to push a narrative that Islam is dangerous so that they can start a, a war on terror in the Middle East. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Same same way the media have politicized the lives of Jewish people. I mean, don't don't get it twisted. Jewish people are also victims in this in this in this whole thing, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because because they're being used by colonizers and and, and you know settlers for their narrative. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, they're being used. People people say people say like, oh, Jewish people are doing it. It's, it's not them. Do you know what I mean? They're being they're being used, and it's and it's sad to see because they use the same way that we're used to fuel hate hatred towards the Middle East. Do you know what I mean? But Jewish people are from the Middle East. There's bad people from the Middle East. I mean, and people want to make this divide. So I think, yeah, the media need to take a long, hard look at themselves and and and, and take some responsibility for that. Do you know what I mean? I, I, by the way, I don't want to take any any agency away from those idiots in it, because they should be able to think for themselves and they should know that Judaism, Jewish people should not be attacked and should not be harmed, because all forms of bigotry and racism are wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, but yeah, Bob Blackman. Yeah, so. I sent him that and I told him to retweet it and uh, he blocked me again. He blocked the Titan 
Um, yeah, yeah. Damn, double homicide. Right. <laughs> Been blocked by my local MP twice. So I'm cut. the Bitch. thing is, <laughs> the thing is, you know, you know, why I am down because I'm laughing about it, yeah. But I'm, I'm deep in that. Like both times, I've not said anything wrong to him. Mm. I, I've messaged him about two really, really serious issues, and he's shown his bias by blocking me each time. I'm going to have to take my old Twitter account, man, if I remember the password. <laughs> so I think the get, next... get, get, get me blocked by him as well, man. I've, I've, I've emailed him, but not, not to do with him blocking me. I've emailed him like to stop arming Israel. Isn't it? Um, but I'm going to probably like email him again and say, like, yo, I don't like, what are you doing? Well, mm. I, I, like, genuinely, I don't know how like local protests work here. Yeah? But I'm thinking I might need to like organize protests against this guy because he's so so biased. He can't he I, I can't be represented by this guy. But mm. the only thing is like obviously I work in the community in it. So mm. I don't want to say what, but you know I work in the community. One community close to me supports him bare because he has right wing views that align with their nationalism. So well, that's one constituency. <laughs> that's one that's one part of the constituency that will definitely back him and ostracize me from getting jobs because of because of uh, me being free palestine mm. and then there's then there's another part of the constituency that is like openly zionist um so they're gonna they're gonna come for me as well isn't it? oh shit oh yeah do you know what i mean so i like i want to go out and, and protest and talk about him yeah but i know all these people are going to be like yo you might yeah, be like, like a three-man army you know hard line blood yeah you know i mean it's i might just have to move to another constituency you know because i'm tired can't come to my side b yeah but at the same time, I just feel like I can't, I can't let it slide. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, if 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 anyone has any ideas on how to protest your local MP or like chat to your local MP on a non-violent thing, by the way, I'm making this very clear because I feel like the way I talk, people are gonna try and say that I'm moving mad in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm making it very clear that I'm a pacifist in it. But I just want, I just want to talk. Come around the corner. I just want to talk. Come on side. You don't, you don't sound like a pacifist. <laughs> no, I'm a pacifist. Isn't it? I just, I just want to talk. Like, why, 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 why bro? Why, why won't my local MP talk to me? Why don't he want me, man? <laughs> uh, I might have to run. I might have to start running. You know. Come on, bro. Titan party soon land, fam. I don't know Trust about that. I'll, I'll, I'll probably join Labour, but not at the moment. Eh? Labour piss me off right now, so. But what's what's that? What's happening, fam? What's happening to politics, fam? So I told you last week, and I'm getting burnt out in it. I'm just tired. I feel like yeah, I'm tired, man. I'm I'm done, man. But at the same time, obviously, as we know, like we can be tired, but you know, the Palestinian people, there's a yeah, there's I a know. Post, that's that's post. the thing. That's what kept that's what kept me um like there was a point there was a point at the the pro- protest. Yeah, I was like, bro, I'm so finished, fam. I was like, bro, like I'm just walking, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and uh, what's it called? Like, I even saw a post yesterday saying that people, are, the families, are going to sleep together in the same room because yeah, they don't, so they don't like... want to leave children behind to mourn their parents, or they, they don't want parents to be staying behind to mourn their kids. <sighs> Speaking of, fam, trigger warning here. Mm. Um, I, I don't, know, I've never done trigger warning before, but basically, I'm going to talk about suicide, isn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So mm. uh, basically, I saw this post here about this kid. So he kept on losing family members, isn't it? Like his pops, his mom, like his siblings, and that. Every I bring time, up the name. Every time that uh, Gaza was getting bombed, in it. So mm-hmm. I think he lost his mom or his dad. I got the date, sorry. Let me. Oh, uh, also the other thing that's kind of like got me down here mm-hmm. is um like uh as I was saying, I, I, like I got blocked by my local MP. So that's one form of like censorship, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But then even even then, like my um. Like I'm, I'm, I'm obviously making videos of I on TikTok and I, um, just like trying to educate people, or like, or like spread awareness and stuff in it. Wow. I can, I can see, bro. When I tell you, yeah, obviously, this is not the, like you can see the 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 change the 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 change in views. Yeah, like obviously, I'm not saying like I have a big following yet, but I literally have almost seven thousand followers in it. That's that's nowhere near big in it, but for me to be getting 30, 40 views on, on videos where I'm talking about Palestine, it's madness. Yeah, that's mad. You know what I mean? But when I don't, when I don't put no hashtags and I don't mention anything by name and I don't like put any flags or anything like that, a thousand straight away. Mad. You know what I mean? So, 
I, like it's, it's, Frenzo. It's, it's, you know, you know Frenzo, isn't it? Yeah, Frenzo. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he he even speaks about. It. I think even Loki spoke about it one time. So he's saying that like, every time I mentioned um like Palestine or the Middle East, mm-hmm. um you can see you can see the difference of views. But when he's talking yeah. about like some other dumb shit, he's getting a mad amount of views. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. I feel like my TikTok account's gonna get deleted because I've seen two or three people have their accounts deleted today. Bro. Yeah. You know how mad that is? Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And it's like I don't feel like personally, I don't feel like I've said anything wrong at all. Yeah. I'm always very careful to be like to say the right thing. Yeah. Or like politically or, correct on that. Yeah, you guys know me, innit? Yeah. Like I don't know, guys. Like for me, I always, I always want to be like a good person. Do you know what I mean? I always, yeah, no, but like, I'm all serious, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if, if, even like you guys know to the point to a fault in it, where like I'm, I'm not saying I'm like, a, I'm like a both sides person, right? but I always view things. I'm not again. I'm not. There's no way I'm going to talk about both sides in it. But I always have empathy for everyone, so I'm yeah. always careful not to hurt anyone's feelings in it. So I'm not going to say anything mad, but. Yeah, so all right, so the, what you were talking about before again, trigger warning. Uh, is a Palestinian 14 year old Palestinian child called Hamza. Um, in 2009, during a massacre, his little brother was killed. Um, his older brother was killed in 2012 in another massacre. This is all by his, his Israeli forces, by the way. Um, in 2014, his father was killed in another massacre. In 2021, so now, his mother is killed and he's by himself. Um, so he threw himself from the eighth floor last night. He was 14 years old. And people, like how, people that's some, and then like and then so this is happening, but people people will still have the audacity to be like, but yeah, but what did Palestine do? Like Bro, and you see this, you let me let me uh, let me You know what? No, no, sorry, so you know what fucks me off, yeah. When I see posts like, oh, yeah, you need to do research into this. Like, yeah, you need to find out what's happening and what's really happening. I'm, like, I'm going to talk about things that, like, that I have, um, don't really, like, know the context, the whole context about. That's, there's your context, bro. Like, how can you, how can you see that? In, in, in what context is that okay? Exactly. There's, there's no context that is okay that a, a, a boy would lose all his family and be left alone and then have to, feel so bad about it that he would commit suicide exactly you see nothing of, by the way, I, see, I see i see all your man ain't posting posting the palestinian thing you know don't think i ain't see i ain't seeing you bro trust me you know you know how i'm in it i don't really um but there was those no, no, this, ain't, this ain't going up for celebrities and i'm talking about i'm talking about my like my people then well nah. my people then for, for, for me, for me, it's like, oh, if, if if you usually post about activism shit, and you're not posting now, no, 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 it's no, no, no. I feel I feel like it's gone past that, bro. Everyone has seen everything that's happening. If you're not posting about it, bro. some 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 people just don't post on their stream. Yeah, that, that, that's, that. that's 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 cool. That, yeah, that's cool. Like the people, people like most people want to like remain low key and that, but. Mm. If you're, if, if, but you're posting what well, you're posting like pictures of your loud and like your fucking your dead dashboard and that. I like, don't want to post about a, or even like a little charity link, like you know what I'm saying. What what I what I feel. I see, bro. I see. I see you, man, fam. Trust me. What I feel annoyed about is is, is the amount of people like influencers, yeah, that will come out and be like, "Oh, this is why I'm not talking." Like, shut up, shut yeah. up. I don't want to. I don't want to hear why you're not like. Yeah. If you if you if you don't want to speak on the issue, yeah. Then, don't take up the space telling me why you don't want to speak on the issue because yeah. I have I have no room for it. I have no time for it. Like the, yeah. do you know what I mean all this this thing about like oh, because you see these infographics on Instagram, yeah, like where you have like the cards and then you swipe through and they tell you like, a bunch of information in it, like oh, yeah. Instagram stories in it. Yeah, but they've been around since last summer. I think at least at least in it, they've been around for uh, not last summer, two summers ago. Sorry, no wait, last summer, last summer. Uh, at least, right? It don't matter, man. I'm trying to just like put the con- time into context in it, so like a very, very long time. Yeah. So and we've seen it for loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of issues because 
the world is so fucked up and there's a new issue every week. Yeah, for those people who say like, oh, there's a new trend every week, it's because the world is fucked up. A fucked up thing is happening every week and that's why people have to talk about new things every week, yeah? So I'm talking about activism being a trend and stuff like that. People want to talk, it's a good, it's always a good thing when people talk about shit. You know I mean, anyway, so these these infographics have been there for a long time and they make they make information easy to understand, yeah? No one has said anything about them being bad or, or critiqued them in any way until it came to Palestine. Why? You're doing... Like, the news is job for them. Do you know what I mean? By saying, like, oh, yeah, you shouldn't talk about this, you shouldn't talk about that. Why? Do you know what I mean? Why, why, is, it, why is it suddenly... All, be, all these people talking about... But, oh, they'll, just, but they'll repost, like, an Insta Thoughts picture on their story, man. Not, not, even, not even that. Like, fam, you could... You, I could bro, hear about... Bro, the man on my... Bro, 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 forget about that. I, I don't care anything. I don't care about that. I'm talking about this one specific thing, yeah? Because that, that's unrelated. This this makes no sense to me, yeah? How, like, let's say, let's say there's an issue. Now, obviously, I'm Bengali in it, so it wouldn't really relate to me. Yeah? But let's say some some white don from Essex, yeah, uh, sees something happening in, in Bangladesh. Like, it's like, oh, I don't know, something might happen, didn't it? They will not, they won't check it, they won't do anything. They'll go straight to their, they'll, they'll quickly post it to their story and be like, yo, okay, cool. Do you know what I mean? So you've never fact checked anything before. You've never like done any research for, you've never done any theses on why, why, whether things are correct or not. Yeah. Why suddenly now does your activism have those kind of high standards? Mm. It must be for a reason, right? I mean, if I hear something happening in in Bolivia, I'm going to be honest with you. I look through I look through the infographic, and if it looks legit, if there's no racist stuff in it, I post it, and people can do their own research for themselves, right? Um, why would I suddenly be like, okay, cool, uh, I, I, I need to think I, before I, I, I post ever, this? Yeah, trust me. Do you know what I mean? All of a sudden, it don't, it don't that all makes no sense to me at all. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, so it kind of relates to what you were saying about the tomato salad thing. Yeah, from what is that, bro? Um, so there's so a, I'm, this. This is why yeah, I'm kind of I'm I'm so glad that I'm off socials, isn't it? So it's like I can't like more time every week. Yeah, it's just you just updating about what happened, what happened in social media, like the whole for the past week. So um, there's like there's a Bengali influencer, right? Um, and I I don't really follow her in it, so I can't say to web I can't say speak up for her or speak down to her in it either way, like whether she's posted about Palestine or not. Um, all I've seen is the uh, she posted this screenshot, this screenshot of her posting on her story, saying, um, "You know what? Fuck it. I'll pull it up. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to spread mis. I don't want to spread misinformation that people are so obsessed with now. Yeah. So, I, mean, I might as well pull it up for them." So she said, "I really need to address this for all the stupid people who need to hear this. Stop forcing, commenting, and hating on people who have not posted the social media about Palestine. People are free to do whatever they want. Who are you to tell them what to do?" Why are you acting like you are God? Um, why why are you acting? Uh, I read that already. Whether someone posts or not does not mean anything. How do you know some people are not praying privately? How do you know? You know what? We kind of need to address this. Sep- I'm gonna address this. Go bit finish, by it, bit. finish it. Finish it. Finish it. No, 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 no. Because th- it's a whole like page, and we need to address it bit by bit. Because the first bit she says, yeah, is stop forcing, commenting, and hating on people who have not posted anything, and people are free to do whatever they want. Yes, you are free to do whatever you want. But the people who are commenting on your page are also free to do whatever they want. Because what I don't understand, yeah, is, you know, people have this narrative that celebrities are being bullied into speaking up about things. Yeah. And that is so dumb to me. Because let's say uh, AB, yeah. Imagine that we live in the same ends and in one certain store, the price of bread is going up like by 30 pounds in it. And nobody knows about it except for me. Yeah, mm. am I gonna wait for you to come to me and say, "Yo, Kyojin, why is the price bread? Why is the price of bread going up?" Mm. Would I would I wait for you to yeah. come and say that to me? Exactly. I mean, I, now, like, it's, it's it's not about like I need the bread now, but it's like, why would I wait? You might you may never. No, find no, it. bro, you, you you totally missed that analogy because no, you, no, no. you need to change. You need to change the the you, because of the because of the you need change immediately. You're not gonna wait for someone else to come up to you and be like and notice it. You need to make you need to try you need to try and make the thing the change noticeable, right? Yeah, yeah. So well, I'm I'm not gonna wait for you to come to me, am I? I'm gonna exactly. go to you and say, I'm gonna go to you and say your A B. The price of bread is going up in this certain store. Here's what we can do and here's why. Then you can decide to either ignore what I said or you can go to learn about what's happening and then join my cause, right? 
And that goes with any cause that you're passionate about. So when people are commenting on your favorite celebrities' posts saying, yo, did you know there's an issue here? Yeah. Number one, they're informing that celebrity that there's an issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, they are, what's it called? So number one, they're informing the issue. Number two, they are educating that person about what is happening in it. Mm -hmm. So that so the, so first of all, the, the celebrity knows that there is an issue. And number two, that they know what the issue is in it then they can easily, as she said, they're free to do what they want. They can easily ignore it or they could decide to go, which is the whole point, to go and spread that to the massive, massive following they have, which is the point of all this. Do you know what I mean? If I, if, if I came to you and said, AB, do you know about this problem here? Yeah. Would you go to me and say, oh, stop forcing me to know about it? No, yeah. the hell. Mm -hmm. It's something important. And like, you, can, you can choose to ignore it if you want. Do you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. bruv, if these men went to school in Northwest London, they, they would know what bullying is. And this is not bullying at all. Trust me. You know what I mean? Trust me. What do, what do you think on that part? You always know, said, like, you need to stop pressuring celebrities and all that. I'm trying to think of how, like, like the opposite, like, how, where she's coming from. Maybe, like, a lot of people attack. To be fair, I feel like maybe if a lot of people are, like, attacking her, like, calling, like, saying nasty things and that, maybe it will hmm. lead to a point where someone's are like, boiling, boiling over. Do you get me? So the yeah, point, and I, I feel that. So the point, uh, like, has been missed. Do you get? Do you know what I'm saying? Through like the action of the people in it. Yeah. So I would say, if you were to reach out to people, like, obviously do it in like a respect, like orderly fashion in it. Do you get me? Yeah. I hear that. But on, in the on the flip side, I know for a fact that there is not one person on social media that has missed what has happened in Palestine. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? There is, uh, uh, like, if you say, the only way that I'll believe you is if you screen time on Insta is that one minute a day. Do you know what I'm saying? And even then, even then, I'll, hard to, I'll find it hard to believe because it's everywhere. It's plastered everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's, a, lot of, a lot of people, they're, they're, they're posting. Do you know, they're, they're, everyone's posting a lot, but I don't really hear a lot of people talking about it, like, like a podcast and shit. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, like. Everyone's sort of a lot of people are doing a bit basically is what I'm trying to say, isn't it? Uh, enough to enough of uh, enough for people to know, in it, at least yeah. be aware of what's happening. Do you get me? Yeah. If if you have an ounce of humanity in you, do you know what I'm saying? You would at least post a charity link. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you ever came across a charity link, you would at least help to you at least repost. You at least help to raise more awareness so someone else on your following could do sign. You might not be able to do sign. You know what I'm saying? But the least you could do is post about it. You know what I'm saying? And even if people say, even if you even if you feel like, oh yeah, I'm not doing enough by posting, bro, at this point, like you are, if that's bro. if that's if that's the most you could do, you know what I'm saying? Do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's getting to that point, bro. Like you, you, bro, you can't have bro, you can't have bro, you can't have a 14 year old lose his whole fucking family fam and commit suicide. Like it, it doesn't matter. You think of it like this, yeah. If your next door neighbor done that, you would you would give a fuck a lie. People will care a lie. Hundred percent. Why it doesn't matter if is this person your neighbor, your sibling, or someone or on the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying, fam? It's still yeah. the, the kid is still fourteen. Yeah, it, obviously, I'm not saying that no kid, no no person, no matter the age, should go through this. Do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like everyone, most people that who's listening to this and like would view this, they I would say like they 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 they, they really they wouldn't have really had to go through that at the age of lie. I'm not saying they wouldn't have gone through anything at all. Like, of, of course, people struggle. Like, every, everyone struggles, like, no matter where they are. But it's very small chance that like, you lose your whole family at 14 and you contemplate suicide, a lie. You mm. like, a lie. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but imagine if, she, if, if that kid was a neighbor, or if that kid's someone that you know, or if, this, if, that, if that kid is your, your cousin or like your, your nephew back home, yeah. where, you, where you originally come from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? At, the, at, at the end of the day, that that kid, that kid is like whatever relation to they have you, they have, they have to you. They're a kid. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, that's what, that, they're, exactly. They're, they're a human being at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying, fam. But you know why I mean? do again? What, like it's so tapped, fam. Why do I need to say? Why do I need to bring it home to people to understand? Like, at the least you could do is post, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for example, yeah. How there's there's been bare other like causes like. For example, take the, the LGBTQ people, yeah? They use social media as, like, one of the main platforms to, to, to get the world to hear them out, right? Mm. Right? Yeah? Yeah. I, 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 I can fairly say that, like. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So even people like, like I can't think of a way where it'd be like people people like you people would be like, oh yeah, like I'm just posting, like what's that gonna do? What so what has cause has never been like has has goals never been achieved through social media? Has things not has things not patterned up through social media? Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? How did how how do protests occur, fam? You hear it through social media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something that like, you know what I'm saying. It's it might not it might not be a lot to, in your eyes, but it's something in it. You know what I'm saying? 100%, yeah. So if you're seeing this, if you're seeing this, fam, and you and you want, sorry, if you're seeing this, fam, but you want to post other your all other bullshit, yeah, but you do, you don't want to post about something important. Yeah. Bro, you know what you can do in it. And I see you, fam. Trust me, bro. Everyone, I'm not. I'm not gonna call man out on it. You know what I'm saying? Because. Cause it's cause it's me. If I call people out on it, but oh, like you know what I'm saying, like, but you, anyway, man. But it's cause it's me. I won't be I, I won't be allowed to call people out on it before, like unless like, unless people want to get butt hurt. You know what I'm saying? So, but I see you, bro. Trust me. But, but I do want to. When, ex- when you see your fucking favorite footballer and that, yeah, fucking posting about it, then you want to post. You know what I'm saying? But I do I do want to bring up a point that you made as well. Like, oh, what's it called? People like to do it in an orderly fashion, in it. Like when you're posting on your favorite celebrities, like trying to raise awareness on your favorite celebrities' posts, like do it in a in a in a respectful. I do manner, hear like, that it's frustrating. Yeah, I do hear you. Yeah. Like, you know, I know. It's I, was, I, was, I was gonna say as well. Like, listen. After after they've, uh, what's called, after the like once you've put like raised awareness, you've done your bit. Yeah. If they don't say anything, like either keep posting or like just move on respectfully. Like yeah, like man. stop stop rating them a little bit. Do you know I mean, yeah, you don't exactly. have to start sending hate them hate their yeah. way in it. You know at the saying? end of the day, at the end of the day, the, the silence speaks a thousand words. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. And then just take internalize that in your head and then move on, fam. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or carry on speaking. I don't know. No. Uh well, this car's going crazy outside anyway. Uh the next part was it's probably landlord. Yeah. The next part was um so we said ready done that part. Whether someone posts or not does not mean anything. As you said, it means a lot. Uh how do you, okay, this is the part I really need to address here. It says, How do you know uh people are not some people are not praying privately? How do you not know some people are, are not giving some someone is not giving charity discreetly? All right, let me let me make something clear here. To hear that from an influencer, you are a professional influencer. Why do you want to stop influencing now? You yeah. put your whole fucking life on camera and now suddenly you want some privacy. You know what I'm saying? What do you what do you what do you mean, what, by what, that? bro? It, it's so contradictory. What, what like see if you're an influencer, you're cool. If you're like if you're at, at like a lower level, like if you just have a few, like even if you have a few hundred bro, people it, following, it don't matter. Like, it don't matter what level. If if you're if influencer, you're, it's just what I'm influencer. saying. If you're exact, no, no. Even if like you're normal, yeah. If you see a good cause, yeah, and there's a charity, like there's a charity available to help a help a cause. I'm not saying. I'm not again. This is not. I'm not just. I'm not just. I'm not just relating this to uh, Palestine. I'm related to all causes. Yeah. If you see a charity that's doing good, yeah, why would you want to promote it? You you post you 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 supposedly contribute to this charity, Ali. So why don't you post it? Why don't you help? Why not other people? Why don't you influence other people to contribute? You know what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, yeah. all of a sudden, but this is you want to do this privately, Ali. But even even if like forget forget normal people for now. I can't wrap my head around the fact that influencers suddenly want to stop influencing when it comes to like social causes. Do you know what I mean? You're telling me that you 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 vlog your mom's house, the front the front garden, everything. People know where she, your mom lives now, but you don't want to you don't want to like put out the part where you where you support a cause. That's where you draw the line. So your mom yards on YouTube, but you know everything else is everything else is private. Fucking tomato salad maker. Anyway, what, what she made a tomato salad. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just a running joke about like how she makes world famous tomato salad or some shit. Anyway. Um, Wait, what? Her claim to fame is, is make a tomato salad. No, nah, no, nah, that's not her claim to fame. She's a beauty oh. blogger, isn't it? Uh, so, all right. So, sit back, sit back down, and calm yourself. You lot are far more concerned with who's posting, who's rather not than the actual cause. That can that can be a little bit true. Like you should you should educate people. And then keep it moving. Do you know what I mean? Uh, try and raise awareness as much as you can. Uh, don't mentally take a note of who's who's not posting and stuff. Yeah, but other than that, you don't need to make like a physical list and a death wish or anything like that. In it, um, who cares? I'm if someone, a certain man in sixth form, fam. Who cares if someone? <laughs> who cares if someone ain't posting? You post. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have. Uh, how many followers does she have? I don't have. 
she has like 400,000 followers on Instagram. I don't have 400,000 followers on Instagram. I, I do post first of all, but like I'm pretty sure her following will do much, much more than my following. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, not to downplay, not to downplay what we can do, but I'm just saying like, who is she to point the finger at other people to say post when they probably are? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, you start it off, you pray, you offer charity. They are, they are starting off. They started it off already and now they're bringing it to you and you're ignoring it. Um, start everything from you. Waking up at Tahajjud and offering your sincere prayers is more beneficial than a damn post. And seriously, I could not care less who disagrees with me. I want to, I want to carefully, carefully address that last part uh, because it's, it's a running trend that I've seen on, on, on social media recently. Um, okay, wait, before, you, before, you, before you continue, uh, why, yeah. why can't you do both? Bro, bro, this is the question I've been asking. This is like, the question not, I've like, been asking. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying anyone's religion or anyone's practices yet at all, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? But, bro, you're, 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 by saying that, you're not. There's, there's literally no, like, uh, what's it called? A quick usher prayer, yeah? Will take you how long? 10 minutes max, maybe. Yeah? You're telling me after that you can't post something. Exactly. I guarantee you, it, it took a, it took a longer to 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 write up that it would it, it took a longer to write up that 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 fucking life story that P fucking section paragraph. B fucking not even, not even a paragraph, B, but fucking personal statement, bro. You know what I'm saying, fam? I like 180 characters and that and them things there. Was it 180? Was anyway? You know, anyway, man, it's been a long time. Um, nah, for, for, bro, for me, for me, like as I always say in it, I don't care if people or to an extent. I'm not mm-hmm. I'm not the post police, do you know what I mean? But if you if if you if you go out of your way to explain why you're posting, not posting, and then you accuse other people, then shut up, man. Stop wasting our time. Do you know what I mean? I don't we don't need that. Nobody needs that. Do you know what I mean? And and you can't contradict yourself. You're an influencer. Start influencing. Work for your paycheck, bro. Do you know what I mean? I mean they are already because obviously we know the real reason why some people won't post about certain things, but you know. Um well, so 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 they can so they get, won't give up the fucking little boohoo deal or something, right? Brand deals, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was, yeah. I just wanted to address that last part, which is like, oh, it's more important to pray to Hajjah than it is to go and post, right? Because I'm seeing a lot of people talk about how like protesting is wrong, yeah. And I need to obviously start this off with I'm not like a student, I'm not a scholar, I'm not a student of knowledge. I am just who I am in it. Uh, and I've asked people about this before and I've got like, I've done the research in it. So mm-hmm. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still dumb in it. I'm like, when it comes to Islam, I'm dumb. So I don't know that much. So I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I'm going to give you what I think. Yeah. So there's three reasons why people say that the protesting is wrong. Yeah. Um, number one is that there's free mixing. Yeah. Bro, me and you went with Prague. Did we chat to any girls? Mm-hmm. Because if, if I go to a football match, yeah, with you and it's just me and you, yeah, and there's girls in the stadium. Am I free mixing? No. Yeah. Is it not common sense, bro, that if you want to avoid free mixing, you just go by yourself or go with your boys? Mm. So, I mean, how, for all the people saying that, yeah, well, I just want to ask you one question. What do you do when you go to work? You tell me you go to a workplace where there's only only men there. Mm. If you work in retail, you tell me you only serve people that are, are men or the same gender as you, bro. <sighs> I, I even know to say it, like it's so stupid. So that's one point that I think, would you agree that that doesn't make sense? That one first point. I agree. Doesn't make no sense. So we leave, let's leave that to the side. I can't lie. I'm pro protest in it. So, you know, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't, um, yeah. I don't really, I, I, there, I there will be, there will, like the other... there will be people who argue the other side, but I have one point at the end that makes, that, that will tell you, I don't really care about what they say, but I want to be careful on it. But the next one is that, um, protesting is not from the sunnah like the prophet never protested right so for for those of you who don't know sunnah means like um following the things that the prophet peace be upon him did yeah so for example last week remember we spoke about how like well two weeks ago we spoke about how like he used to only grow his hair to his shoulders um so it is sunnah to keep it at that length or or cut it Yeah. yeah and remember last time i said that just because something is not from the sunnah as long as it doesn't go against the religion it's not haram yeah yeah, so just because, bro, in the Prophet Sallallahu time, people used to go for fights. We're not going to do that. What I the was, hell? Uh, cool. I, I was, ju- was just going to say, yeah, th- that the Prophet went into battle for what he believed in. Yeah. So isn't are that we, part of the sunnah? Are we going to do that in this day and age? Well, no, we're not going to do that. Do you know what I mean? So, like, 
I'm, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to fight no one. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I'm making, you, I'm making that, very, I'm making that very clear. Nick. I always view things of doing the things the most peaceful way. Yeah. Um. So obviously, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do that. Let's be honest, you are not gonna do that, and rightfully so. I don't think you should go and fight in it. Um. So just because they did things differently at that time, again, last week when I said, if I use chopsticks, is that horror? No. It's not because just because the Prophet, peace be upon him, didn't do it doesn't mean I can't do it. As you know what? It doesn't the, contradict the religion anyway. The Prophet didn't wear Nikes. So don't wear Nikes then. Prophet didn't drive. Don't drive. Yeah, Prophet didn't wear tracksuits, blood. Do you know what I mean? All these things. And, and it's, it's, it's a certain group of people. I'm not going to name names because I, honestly, I don't want them to come for me. Now. Furthermore, furthermore, uh, the Prophet prayed. Um, he prayed his five prayers and he prayed um, his, all his uh, like extra prayers as well, yeah? Are you man praying extra prayers? I don't want to. You, you, no like, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm asking. I'm asking them, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Are you man praying extra prayers? If your answer is yes, <laughs> and you're doing and you're doing all like the, the like that the, no, the, even, the even then even then don't chat to me, bro. I don't I honestly even then don't chat to me about that because also people. Just know, need, I'm I'm just saying that so people just need to g check themselves before they talk bro, about. I, what's I don't. Now, I don't, I don't care if you're you're like the, you're the most religious of the religious people. Yeah, don't introduce lies. Into the thing in it. Yeah. Uh, let me not speak too much because again, I'm I'm not knowledgeable on this thing in it, so I don't want to like say too much in it. But as I was saying, so that's point number two that doesn't make any sense to me, right? So that's gone. Then they're saying that it's more powerful for you to stay at home and like pray rather than to to protest. And I'm going to be clear here. I don't want to downplay the the power of dua in it. As a Muslim, I don't want to do that. And but what you have to understand is, first of all, a lot of the people that are going to protests are not muslim they're just humans that care about this issue so why are you why are you policing them in the first place secondly allah says there's a hadith and i, I, I want i want to get the source in it but there's a hadith that says if you don't want like if you have a camel yeah and you need yeah. to leave the camel camel there for a bit and you see a post yeah no 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 so basically um so the, one of the prophet's companion yeah he had a camel on it yeah and then he didn't tie it up in it and then he must have got asked, why don't you tie up your camel, yeah? And then the, the companion was like, oh, it's an Allah's will, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Allah, Allah will look after it, isn't it? And the prophet, the prophet must have been like, um, Allah gave you a brain as well. So yeah. he's not, you, 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 should, you should do what you could. And, yeah, this, and this, 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 is, the, well. this is the quote, though. It's a, it's a banging quote, isn't it? Yeah, so like, after he, he didn't tie the camel, and the prophet, peace be upon him, came up to him and said, why don't you tie your camel? And he said, I have faith in Allah that the camel will not run away. And then the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, tie your camel first and then put your trust in Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, there yes, ob ob obviously we can make dua to Allah to sort out the issues in the world, isn't it? But you can't just sit around and do nothing. Exactly. I mean? Or if, 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 if you feel like you, you, want, you, you don't want to go protest, then don't go protest. Stop putting other people off. For, yeah. Stop shaming other people for doing it, bro. Allah. Now, how dumb that is to me. It's like... Again, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to downplay the power of doing it. But do you really think change is going to come from you just sitting at home doing nothing, or do you think change is really going to come from you like shaming other people for going to protest? Uh, the first part sounds a bit problematic, man. I can I can see I can see, you, I can see you how people can. Uh, no, I, as, I, 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 as I said, as I said, you can do both. You probably yeah. should do both. Do you know what I mean? Pray your extra tajid and stuff like that. But you know. Um, if you don't want to go protest, don't go protest. If you want to go to protest, but you want to avoid free mixing, don't go with go with the mandem. Don't mm -hmm. go with girls. We didn't go with no girls. Yeah. If you want to, if you another thing was like, if you go protest, you might miss your daily salah. Innit? We saw people praying on the side. Yeah, exactly. It's not you know, so. You tell me when you go shopping, you don't you don't make time for salah. No, no. I feel like people just pulling at every single thread that they could to to not to justify them not doing shit in it. Yeah, but anyway, the reason the reason why I'm saying this so nonchalantly is because it comes from people that think that you can't you can't uh, protest or rebel against Muslim leaders. Um, so they see what Saudi bro, Arabia are doing in bro, Yemen, yeah, and they think because they're Muslim, speak, you're the leader. Yeah, exactly. Them. Speaking of Saudi, speaking of Saudi Arabia, bro, the prince booked Nicki Minaj for a concert, bro, and then when she she pulled out because um, of backlash, they tried book Fifty Cent. I just I just think like. If, if, if you're going to bomb like uh, people who transgress other Muslims just because they're Muslim, I, I have no I have no ratings for you, honestly. Yeah. Because, uh, it, we're all from Northwest Alaya. Mm -hmm. 
if I'm if I'm bullying Laska, yeah, let's just say I'm bullying Laska, then, and we're all from North Northwest, and, and like let's say Northwest was a race then at, at this at this point in it, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm bullying Laska, and you come up to me and say, oh, now nah, you're my boy from Northwest, I can't say anything to you. Is 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 Laska not your boy? Mm. You know what I mean? Is 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 even even if it's boys or not boys, yeah, is what I'm what I would in that hypothetical situation is what I'm doing not wrong. Exactly. It doesn't matter about all this stuff, man. Honestly. So that's why, I, I, you know. But anyway, the thing is, I don't want to get into like a whole religious if you're, Listen, man, if you're too pussy to go out there and protest, just shut your mouth and keep be pussy at home, innit? No, nah, I don't I don't want to shame people, innit? Don't, 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 like, don't, the, don't grow, the, the, don't grow, the only don't thing grow. is, like, I don't think like, I don't think people have the right or any legs to stand on to, to shame other people for doing what they think is right. Exactly, exactly. You know I mean. Especially when you're, when you're not doing fuck all, so. Yeah. And uh, if anyone who who agrees with the second point, I don't want to see you driving any cars. I don't want to see you using chopsticks. Mm. I don't want to eat, see you eating food. I don't want to see. Out. I don't want to see no man in a night tracky blood. Yeah, dickheads. Yeah, you better put some of you man better pull up to the next goal session on a camel. No yeah, I lie and don't I lie I lie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm I'm veering into dangerous territory in it because I don't want to make it seem like I'm taking the mic out of Islam because I'm not. It's just these people who like try and shame people for going protests in it. I lost my train of thought, but yeah, that's that's why I, I think like it, it's not a big issue that like, if you go to protest in it, and I think if it is an issue to you, like you should come with better reasons. Number one mm-hmm. and number two, um, stop shaming people for things. And if you want, like a lot of what I got my resources from on like. Because people will bring up scholars in it. There's a scholar, mm-hmm. uh, there's someone called Sheikh Haifim Al Haddad. If you go check his videos, he does say that protesting is calm. I know, I know some people don't rate him, uh, some certain people, uh, but that's, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Um, I, I, I don't, again, I'm not like a, I'm not knowledgeable in Islam, I was, I don't want to stay on that topic too long. So we should probably head off this topic. It's been a, it's been a heavy week, man. I can't lie, man. Yeah, uh, we didn't even introduce no topic this week. We just started started, started spinning, bro. Yeah, man. Um, should we should we start wrapping up? Yeah, come, come, come. On. Uh, pretty much the same as oh, actually no, I have a little bit at the end. Uh, because you know how before we were talking about how like the news will start getting involved once once it's about like Hamas flying rockets, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I need we need to, we need to address that because. Yeah, cool. All right. So the news gets involved once Hamas starts firing rockets. Um, and then a lot of the comments you'll see is like, oh, Hamas f- fired this many rockets, this many rockets, like more rockets than Israel fired back, right? Go on. There, there was like a graph, in it, of um, of how many, I think it's over how many casualties. Mm. Um, pal- on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me explain it this way, because yeah, I want to explain it to the people that don't understand. Yeah, when you say like, oh, Hamas fired this many rockets and we fired only two rockets or something, yeah. What you have to understand, think of it like football, yeah. Everyone can, I'm pretty sure most people can understand football, innit? Let's say it's Man United versus Liverpool. And in this in this hypothetical situation, yeah, um, Liverpool, no, no, Man United, the only defenders that they have is Harry Maguire, but they've got two of him, innit? So mm-hmm. he's, 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 he's a good defender. He's not that great. He's not like... He's actually whatever you think about Harry Maguire, there's two of him, okay? Uh, so there's two two defenders on the Man United team in it. So Liverpool to score, they just need Sadio Mane, Mo Salah, and Rob, uh, Bobby Firmino in it. Three strikers, three strikers will do the job against two defenders in it. Yeah, so they'll they'll, they'll probably score a hat trick in it. So that's like nine goals they scored in it. So the, yeah. the nine nine is a pretty low number. They they got their goals in it, but they they sent. Three strikers, so we say that's three rockets, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, the Liverpool team have 200 Van Dykes, yeah, 200 Van Dykes. So, is Man United gonna send three strikers against them? Yeah, I think uh, obviously, again, I need to be clear here I do not support any like violence, I'm a pacifist, you know, but it is very common sense that if if, if some if Israel have something like the Iron, Iron Dome. Yeah. Where they can like shoot rockets out of the sky and like you no know, rockets. Obviously, they're gonna try and overpower it. You know, I'm not saying whether that's wrong or right, um, because I am a pacifist and I don't believe in violence. But it's you have a serious to piece of equipment, though. 
you have to think about it logically. Do you know what I mean? Man United are not going to send it. They're going to send Messi. They're going to send Ronaldo. They're going to send like 500 strikers to score against those 200 defenders, mm-hmm. right? So that's that's why there's an imbalance in the statistics in terms of rockets uh, fired. Um, but yeah. No, but I think even then the stats are wrong, you know. I, I think Israel has definitely fired way more. No, they, they don't need to. They don't need to. Because they, they're, they're rockets hit. They have, they have precision. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they know... Wherever they want to hit, they'll hit like directly. There's, there's like there's no there's no defense against it. It's another point actually. Yeah. Lie. Another point actually, yeah, because people say like, oh, if Hamas stops shooting at Israel, um, then all of it stops. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's explore that for a second. Yeah. Let's say, let's just say hypothetically, they both stop firing at each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the people in Israel can they can they can stop being. Uh, attacked by rockets fair enough they'll, they'll be in peace but the people in gaza who still live in the world's biggest uh open air prison with two million people in the most densely populated city or country i can't remember in the world will still be in that open air prison the people who are who are being forced out of their homes will still be forced out of their homes the people who have to go through loads of checkpoints each day to get to their own home will still have to go through those checkpoints so at the end of that conflict if you want to call it that if people if both sides put down their weapons one side is still one side is still struggling one side is still going through a mm. problem one side is still having their borders pushed back and back and back and back and back till it's le- till the left of nothing yeah. so does does it really stop no it doesn't stop it stops for one side yeah but the other side still still go through what they're going through do you know what I mean so i feel like that that comment is so dumb do you know what i mean <sighs> I do know what you mean, man. But yeah, man. It is what it is. I'm probably gonna get sniped tonight, innit? So uh, if we, if I we get don't sniped run. tonight, you know why? It's because I told you to fight. I'm getting sniped tonight. R.I.P. <laughs> me. <laughs> I not seen that. Hey. No. no. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> it, was, it was good knowing you guys. <laughs> um, sending your but, CVs to the Titan Talk. Uh, Gmail. Mad, maddest thing is, yeah, this episode will come out in like <laughs> a week's time. Yeah, so I've probably been dead for a week. But, yeah. <laughs> um, That's not major. Inshallah, everything's okay. Man. But the the way the world is going, you, you never know. Um, but yeah. Any any lighter any lighter topics? Aside from oh, the t- the tomato, the tomato soup, <laughs> tomato salad. At this point, it doesn't really matter, man. Uh, I mean, what I would what I would just say is that, like, even though obviously it seems like to me it's like draining and stuff in it, um, I think right now more than ever, people there's people in Palestine that need your energy when it comes to raising awareness. You know what I'm saying? And and spinning the narrative to make sure that people know that it's okay to be pro Palestine. Like these people don't deserve to be in an open air prison these people don't deserve to be denied medical supplies that's a war crime P- these people don't deserve to be bombed bro they bombed the the the, the, the doctor like the hospital in it uh, I, I i don't know uh you know what the what the what the, the one i saw was um they bombed the associated press uh building so the a media building and yeah we know why you know Anyway, um, but yeah, keep 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 uh, messaging your MP. Uh, if if your MP is Bob Blackman, don't bother because he's 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 a bastard. Um, and he's he, a mad or mental bastard. <laughs> I'm a, I'm after run, you know. I'm after start running for please, uh, man. A, a MP in it, but I, I don't I don't want to. Man. We need someone else to do it. Quick words of encouragement: if you're if you're posting about Palestine, if you're doing everything that you could continue doing you are not alone in this put it put in some put when if you're posting about palestine yeah make sure you put in some like cringy shit in between yeah because otherwise your shit's gonna get taken down do you know I mean? like if you're posting on tiktok yeah post a video like after you post like, something serious post a video of you like lip syncing in a car box like bruv I'm, that's what i'm gonna have to start doing i'm gonna have to start link, lip syncing in a car box i'm like kind of deleted you want to start next lip-syncing? Week, li- lip syncing lip syncing no, if next week you see a video of me on I'm just bait, like why is this 25 year old man lip syncing in a in a, in a in a car park to I don't know Bollywood music? You know why? You know <laughs> why? Yeah, but keep it going. I know it's draining, bro. But trust me, 
we could hopefully let's pray that some change comes out of this. Let's keep pushing, man. Let's do everything that we could. You get me? Let's yeah. let's 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 make our voices um be heard, man. Let's, yeah, f- let's we're not stopping. We are not stopping. Trust me. Yeah, yes. final final reminders as well. It's just like obviously all the things that we said last week, all the links are in our bio. Like email your MP, uh, sign the petitions, all the links for that is in our bio. Uh, make sure you buy merch that uh funds infrastructure in Palestine so they have like they can rebuild their schools, um, their hospitals, their media buildings, all that stuff. Um, and also, yeah, don't don't shut up about it. Just keep going. Come to the keep going. Well, obviously, it's gonna be too late to but there's a protest every Saturday. Um, hopefully, it's still going on by the time this episode comes out. So maybe come to that. Hopefully, point. there's no need to go anymore. But yeah, one day. Was, I, I, there was there was there was a for anyone who is feeling a little bit of burnout. Yeah, there was a a stat that might like cheer you up a bit. I know it kind of cheered me up a little bit as well. But let me let me give it to you guys. Um, it's it's one about Algeria. Um, so if it does feel like all right, so here's the tweet. Every time I get hopeless about Palestine, I remember that Algeria. I remember Algeria still defeated France, even after 132 years. 132 years of occupation. You know that's crazy. And it says um, there was a brutal eight war year at the end in which 1.5 million Algerians died, uh, but it still happened anyway. Uh, and then the last thing as well is don't forget to uh, boycott. Um, certain brands in it there's a sick app called uh bycott uh we might put it in the link tree but it's called bycott i saw it today actually it's so sick um it's like a scanner yeah and you any product that you want to get there's loads of different causes on it so it could be like fair trade so making sure that children aren't used to make the product and stuff like that it could be against animal testing so you can you can select what uh causes you want to like support and then basically you scan you scan the product uh, and then if it if that product conflicts with any of your causes, uh, you can decide not to buy it. And it also gives you alternatives to that product as well. And these things do work, bro. Trust me, man. It's, yeah, that's it's what, what works in business. Uh, apartheid South Africa. Yeah, man. So, yeah, listen, we can keep, keep pushing. Even if we don't see in our lifetime, we can at least plant the seeds for our next generation. You get me? Let's do everything that we could. Let's keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like there's a need for a joke. Goodbye. Yeah, that's it, man. All right, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Uh, 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 uh.